Rise and shine and welcome to a new solo episode of the ASOM experience. How amazing it is to be alive again today. I'm extremely grateful to see you again and this time in a new solo episode where I can connect directly with you. Whether you're listening or you're watching, just want to thank you for taking the time to be here and to be part of the ASOM experience. I'm extremely grateful for all the messages that I've been receiving and everyone who's been sharing or you know going on on spotify or youtube or leaving comments and likes thank you so much whatever you're from whatever your story is you know i'm extremely happy to have you around me and just want to start off also that's one thing that i have not done at all before but i was going through the analytics of um the asom experience um and I just want to say that I was quite surprised to see some of these stats. And uh, I'm happy to say that we have listeners from France, UK, Netherlands, Spain, US, Colombia, Serbia, Israel, Canada, Lebanon, South Africa, Italy, Belgium, and even Qatar. So I'm, I'm so happy to see this. And... Um, also looking at some gender, uh, gender distribution, I tend to definitely have more male listeners. So 62% are male listeners and 33% are female listeners. And 3% are not specified. Interesting. So just want to say, yeah, I mean, it, it, for me, it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you're from, what your story is, you know, your age, your gender. What matters for me is, in the end of the day, or in the end of, of this episode, if, if you're going to listen or watch it until the end, and I would be so happy that, um, what matters is what you take from it. What matters is what resonates with you. What, what touched you in a way or another that you felt that could relate to you in a way? What was something that you know, made you think twice? What was something that you know, brought you a certain feeling of a flashback or, you know, a deja vu or something that happened already with you, maybe something that you've been experiencing, maybe something that right now you are asking yourself. So for me, the value here is really that we connect um, through the topics, through the interviews when I have uh, guests over and for you to find yourself also through some of these experiences. And um, today's topic is quite special because it's, it is something I have been living for a few months now and extremely happy to have found that um, again in my life. It, it's something that I, I had for a long time and then I've, I've let go of and I've lost it um, for a while. And uh, I found it again, and I'm extremely happy to share with you about it. And I'll start off by asking you a few questions. So, uh, yeah. Are you ready? Okay. Um, first of all, do you feel that you focus less on yourself and more on others around you? Are you even aware of your personal needs and desires? Do you feel comfortable being with yourself for long hours? And at last, how is your self relationship? So you probably get it. Um, this is not for anyone specific. This whole topic is for everyone. And whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, going through a breakup, or whatever your story is, whatever your relationships are right now, this one is for you. And I'm saying this because I've, I've read this phrase from, from a British psychologist. Uh, his name is Robert Holden, and I'm quoting him. The relationship with yourself sets the tone for every other relationship you have. And you know it that, you know, we live in a society um, where we are always interacting, whether it's physically or on our phones and 
we're, we're always exchanging with people, uh, whether they are our family or friends or colleagues, coworkers, partners, children, strangers, anyone around us is part of a certain relationship. And as I've said earlier, the relationship that, that we have with ourselves is the beginning to any relationship we have with others. So to give you a little bit more of information on what is being in relationship with yourself, it's as simple as being aware and acknowledging the fact that you have certain needs and desires that you can only accomplish and making yourself at least as important as any other person in your life and i repeat at least so how does this happen you know um one of the ways which is the most common is known through self-care you've probably heard of the concept self-care and it's not just about going to the barber or getting your hair done or your nails polished no 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 it's self-care is much deeper than that it's not just on a superficial physical level it goes much deeper and it's it's really about looking after yourself and your mental health so yourself physically and also mentally and definitely beyond that such as emotionally and spiritually and you know um it also can look different between different people so um depends on your on your circumstance depends on your age depends on your your lifestyle your condition your your responsibilities self care can look very different so the goal of this episode is to share some tips and habits to take care of yourself more and i would say i've i've been really um integrating these these habits in in my life and i'll, I'll share also examples on how does this happen so to start off the first tip for self care is self investment invest in yourself invest time invest money invest attention invest anything that can make you better that can help you grow and i'll give you an example so i started that um maybe over a year ago where i was feeling really tired i was feeling really pains and aches in my body and something that i've never felt before and i immediately immediately started feeling that it was normal but then i realized that i needed to take action and for me to do that you know i started looking out for experts for people who who know who have studied um, the physiology and who are able to tell me you know those are certain weak points where we need to work on and i've been to experts and i've shared this and you know i've i've done some um some physiotherapy and um and other other methods and techniques to to help me you know uh, out from that however this required investment and investment is time and it's money and it's many other things so for you whatever you um are lacking it's somewhere you need to invest more in and once again it can be time and it can be money number two no matter what happens no matter what story you've been through no matter what situation or experience you've just had do not beat yourself up whether you if you're still doing that this might go forever if you're really the type of person who is going to dwell on a certain story or that you've felt that you were a failure in a certain situation it is time to move on stop beating yourself up it's fine you know life goes on and those who who were hurt or those who were affected by you you know they also hurt and affected 
and still maybe affect other people. So it's totally fine. You're not perfect and no one is perfect. And, you know, just be okay with that and move on. So that's number two. Don't beat yourself up. Number three, which is the quite opposite of number two, is appreciate yourself more. And when I say appreciate is give yourself a little bit more credit. You know, whatever you do, whatever you feel that's special about you, own it, you know. And I've had this, I've had the, the, the situation. It was a few days ago and it was an encounter. I met, I met this lady uh, who was with, uh, with a friend of mine and we started this conversation and I was really curious about this person. Uh, she didn't talk much and I felt that she was a little bit like reserved and, you know, inwards. And I started immediately asking her, like, tell me more about you. Tell me more about your story. Uh, what is it that you do? What is it that you feel that's special about you? And she started telling me, I write. And I said, oh, you write. You, you write. What, that, what kind of, you know, what kind of text do you have? Is it you write poems? You write um, articles? Uh, what type of that? And she started talking a little bit further on. And I was like, wow, look, look at you. You have something here. You have a gift. You have a talent. But do you really own it? So I go back to the... The, the tip of appreciate yourself more. You know, you are full of possibilities and so much potential. And if you're not aware of that, you know, no one's going to come and say, hey, um, no one's going to give you uh, any praise or, or any recognition for the things that you do not share. Because the most generous thing you can do is actually share your talent and who knows your talent can be very helpful for many people out there and inspiring also so uh, that was number three and number four your circle surround yourself with people who are like-minded and share similar goals and vision so remember, you are the outcome of the five people you share your time with. And that's something that's been really very strong and, you know, and present in my life that recently and lately, I would say, I have been, you know, very selective with the people that I surround myself with. And no offense, nothing personal, but it's just that I would rather say thank you and not be with a certain person then be with the wrong person and find out that this is not good for me. It doesn't feed my soul. And we do not share a similar vision. This, it would be dishonest for me to be with people with whom I cannot connect. So make sure you surround yourself with the right ones. Number five, habits. What type of habits are you adding into your life or removing from your life that are helping you in your relationship with yourself? Are you doing your morning routine or ritual or, you know, any, anything that you put in your life as part of your schedule is something that is extremely important for your well-being. So keep this in mind and, you know, um, this, this will definitely help you on the long term. Number six, and this will be our last tip. And I've read it in, a, in an article uh, by Psychology Today. And that's what they call the personal crisis plan. And I don't know if you've heard of that. And I, I, for me, it was a little bit new because I have I've not really, you know, had it clear. For myself like what would be my personal crisis plan what if things would go nuts and crazy and I lose everything you know what's how would I rebound how what's my escape plan or you know and I thought about it and I've been through situations and periods in my life where I went through crisis and uh, luckily, I have found a way out, uh, but had I been more ready and prepared, 
I would have been definitely overcome it faster. Um, so what is your personal crisis plan? What is your escape from a certain situation where you hit rock bottom or you hit a wall or you're in a certain, you know, tough situation? And this was our sixth tip. I'm going to run quickly through the tips and um, we'll get to our end of, of this episode. So number one, invest, invest, invest. Number two, do not beat yourself up. Number three, appreciate yourself more. Number four, surround yourself with people who are like-minded and share similar goals and visions. Number five, habits. And number six, what's your personal crisis plan? And here we come to the end of another solo episode and I'm extremely happy to be here and to be doing this and to be sharing with you. If you have not subscribed or followed yet, please do so and uh, please share your comments and I will be happy to see you again in another episode next week. And next week is going to be an interview. So I'm preparing a, a quite interesting one with a special guest that's going to show up. So thank you again, whether it's day or night, have a good day and have a good night and I will see you again very soon.